project the other day to my Facebook page. It's a project I created for Petaloo. They create these beautiful flowers. And it's an image transfer onto just an old piece of wood. Now I had a load of requests for a tutorial on doing image transfers and I'm happy to do this tutorial but I should say that there are a bazillion tutorials out there showing you the exact same thing that I'm going to show you now so really I'm just reiterating what everybody else um, has posted I would suggest if you're interested in doing this technique I would suggest um, visiting a whole bunch of tutorials learning as much as you can and then getting out there and trying it for yourself. So for the technique itself, um, I just have a piece of wood, it's just cut from a, from a 2 by 4 This is an artist trading block size. And I have the image that I'm going to use. Now the image, a couple of things to remember. Your image must be printed by um, with a laser printer. It has to be toner. Um, so you can use a laser printer. You can use uh, a photocopy. Most I think most photocopies will work. That's a toner, not not ink. If you use ink from your ink jet jet printer, what is very likely to happen is that your ink is going to run and bleed. There are techniques for transferring ink. Um, just do a search, ink, print out, transfer, I'm sure that you'll find something. For this particular technique, it has to be a laser print or uh, from a Xerox machine or, or a, you know, a, a copy from from Kinko's or wherever. So that's the image. One other thing about the image, if you have text, it has to be reversed because your image is going to be applied like this and then the paper will come away and leave the image. So it has to sort of be a mirror image in order for it to be read correctly. The product I'm going to use is a golden acrylic um, it's heavy gel, or it's a gel medium. This is quite thick, which is why it's called heavy. Um, the reason I got heavy was just because I'm probably gonna use it for some other projects and that's what I wanted to use. You can use the regular um, as well. What you're going to do is apply a layer of this medium to your surface. You want a pretty good layer on there. You don't want like huge, a huge chunky sloppy mess, but you want a nice, a nice layer that is even. And you want to work pretty quickly because you want this to be wet when you apply your image. Now, all I do is apply that image directly to the surface and working again quickly, I'm going to smooth it out. I have this tool, which I'm going to use to sort of flatten it out and get rid of those, any air bubbles. The nice thing about the thick gel is that you will probably get fewer bubbles than if you were bubbles and wrinkles than if you were to use something that's thinner. The next step is to wait. You really do need to wait overnight until this is completely dry. You can lift it up before then, but for the best results, you really do want to wait. So I have this block that's weighted, that's dried overnight, and I've just peeled away those edges, but otherwise it's exactly the same as the block that I just completed. So I'm just gonna wet the surface. And you can see the image underneath there. 
I use my finger and rubbing, I'm rubbing off those paper fibers. When those top fibers come off, I'm going to wet it again. Now the gel medium can be pretty expensive. Um, I believe mine was like $24 but I used a coupon and got it for 12, so not too bad. And it goes <clears throat> pretty far. So you can see that this is a pretty good transfer. And just keep going back and forth. If it dries a little bit and you notice that there's a little area that still has some fibers, wet it again and wipe it off. <clears throat> now, it's probably not going to be perfect. You can see here that there's a couple of areas where that the it's sort of scraped off. You can also see this line here. That is from the edge of the photograph, so it wasn't placed quite squarely on the block. Just some things to keep in mind. So, I've seen a number of questions about can you use Mod Podge, can you use this or that or the other. Mod Podge does have an image transfer product. I uh, could not find that product here. And, um, but I did do one with regular Mod Podge. And there's still some fibers on there, but I'm cleaning them up. So you'll see that between the Mod Podge and the acrylic medium, there's a good difference between the quality of the the transfer. These images were printed on the exact same sheet. I did them all at the exact same time. So the only difference is the product here. So using just regular Mod Podge, you will get an image transfer, but it will. Um, you can see it's not as dark. And. It's, it is coming away quite a bit. You cannot use regular glue. If you use regular glue, all you're going to do is, you may start to sort of get a little bit of a transfer going, but when that water hits the, hits the, the glue, it kind of reactivates it and it just makes a sloppy mess. Another thing that you can do is actually paint your block beforehand. So this just has a coat, a really light coat actually, a wash of white paint. And you can see how the contrast is really, really great. If I was to stain either of these, this the wood that's exposed here is going to is going to stain darker. So by painting the block of wood, you're creating even more contrast. So that's really it. My suggestion is just go out and buy the product, buy some gel medium. It doesn't have to be golden gel medium, but any sort of gel medium. If you go to your local art store or craft store, they should know exactly what you're talking about. Um, and then give it a try. And if you can't find your gel medium, go ahead and give just some regular Mod Podge a try. And you know, your image may be a little bit more distressed. You might have to be a little bit more gentle rubbing off the paper, but, uh, but hey, you've got a transfer there. So give it a try and do some experimenting.